Hi, said the boy lying on top of Storm. Hi, he said, perplexed. It was a boy with spiky brown hair down to his shoulders and with swimming goggles on top of his head. The boy he had seen at the car wash earlier that day. I'm Sky, the boy said. That means heaven. Oh, Storm said. I'm Storm. That, uh, means Storm. Sky smiled broadly and jumped to his feet. He reached out and pulled Storm up. Sky was a little taller, but not that much. How old are you? He asked. Seven, Storm said. Me too, Sky said. What? A horrible scream sounded from the building. A deep, monstrous scream that went straight through the bone. Oh yes, Sky said. I almost forgot. And he closed the door. The goggles in his hair reflected the sunlight, so it seemed as if he had two headlights. Again, they heard a loud cry, a little muffled, but still terrifying. Storm shuddered. He didn't know a single animal that made such a noise. Uh, what is that? Sky leaned against the door and said as if it were the most normal thing in the world. A dragon. Storm swallowed. A dragon? Yes, Sky replied with a serious face. He has escaped. Oh, Storm said, and for a moment he was completely dumbfounded. Then he heard a gruesome growl from behind the door. It started out softly, but soon became louder and deeper and fiercer. And then suddenly, it stopped. It was silent. Dead silent. I think he's gone, Storm whispered. Immediately, there was the most petrifying cry anyone had ever heard in their life. It was so loud it could have pierced someone's ears, and so shrill it made all the hairs on your body stand upright. Come, Sky said, and he began walking towards the front of the car wash. We have to go see the night. The night? So he was right. Delighted Storm ran behind Sky. How did the night get here? And the dragon? He asked, trying to keep up with Sky. I opened the red door, Sky said, and all of a sudden there they were. They stopped in front of the shutter to the entrance. Sky pressed a button and the shutter crept up with a buzzing sound. Storm was too scared to look. What if the dragon heard them? When Sky took his finger off the button, the shutter was just far enough open to let them crawl underneath. Storm stared at the dark shaft. He didn't see any dragon claws and couldn't hear any dragon roaring either. Are we actually allowed to go there? He asked. Sure, Sky said. I come here every day. And he pulled his goggles over his eyes. There were silver goggles with thick, shiny glass, and suddenly Sky's eyes seemed extremely tiny. <laughs> Storm began to chuckle. <laughs> what is it? Shh, Sky said, and held a finger to his mouth. Dragons don't like people's voices. Storm nodded and kept silent. <laughs>